is a problem of an application of integral calculus. In this problem, we are going to find the maximum profit when we know the marginal revenue and we know also the marginal cost. The profit, you know, is the difference between the cost and the revenue. This will be the profit at some point. But the total profit will be the derivative of this. And the, remember, the derivative of the cost is the marginal cost. The derivative of the revenue is the marginal revenue. So if we are computing the derivative of the revenue minus the cost, actually what we are going to obtain is the marginal revenue minus the marginal cost. So the total profit will be actually the area between the marginal cost and the marginal revenue. And assume that we know both. We know an expression for the marginal revenue and we know an expression for the marginal cost. We have two questions. To maximize profit, how many items must be produced? And second, what is the maximum attainable profit? What in total, how much is the profit after we produce all the units that, that we need to produce? The marginal cost and the marginal revenue are in thousands per thousand items, and this x is given in thousands. So, for a, if I type one or type two, it means two thousand or one thousand. Okay. So, to maximize profit, how many items must be produced? How we answer this question? So, to get in the solution, notice first that to maximize profit, it's clear that the company cannot be in a position when the marginal revenue will be greater than the marginal cost. So I know that the marginal revenue cannot be bigger than the marginal cost because if that were the case, if they are producing an amount of units when the marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost, then that means that producing another unit, the profit will be bigger. So in this position, the company is not obtaining the maximum profit. Producing that unit more will increase the profit. So if the company is getting more revenue than cost, this is good, but it still is not a position in which the company is getting a maximum profit. The company still can get more profit producing more. And opposite to that, if you are in a position when the marginal cost is greater than the marginal revenue, it means the cost of producing that unit is bigger than the revenue this unit is going to give to the company. So for that reason, the company cannot be in this position either. If that happens, if they are in a position that producing that unit, the company is having a cost bigger than the revenue, it means that producing this unit is decreasing the profit. So to maximize profit, the marginal revenue cannot be bigger than the marginal cost. Neither the marginal cost can be bigger than the marginal revenue. We conclude that to maximize profit, the marginal cost and the marginal revenue must be the same. So for answer the first question, we need to take into account this the marginal revenue must be equal to the marginal cost. And we know this marginal revenue and we know marginal cost. So what I'm telling you is that the marginal revenue, that is this function that we have here, 0.15x squared plus 4.5x plus 5.5 will be equal to the marginal cost. That is the function that we have here. So to know this, to know how, mo how many items I need to produce, in such a way that the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost, I need to solve this equation. So you can solve it. This is a quadratic equation. If you have time, you can solve it. You have a software beside you, like GeoGebra. Use GeoGebra and solve it. So I use GeoGebra to solve this equation. So I just type the equations. So I, I type R prime of X. I type C prime of X. I get the graph of both are prime of x and c prime of x. And then I notice here, this is the intersection point. I click here at that point of intersection and GeoGebra tell me what will be the value of x. So it will be 23.75 units. 
So because this is in thousands, it will be 23,754 units around this number, a little more. So this will be the value of x. So that will be a way to solve this equation in GeoGebra. So x equal 23.754. That means 23,000. So this is 23.754. This is the solution of the equation. But I know that x is in thousand. I need to multiply by thousand to answer this with words. So they will be 23.754 thousand or 23,754. There is another way to solve this. And I'm going to show you here the other way that you can solve an equation in GeoGebra. You can type the whole equation actually. So here I just type the two functions and find the interception using the graphical way. But you can use algebra in GeoGebra, obviously. So you can type actually the whole equation and ask GeoGebra to solve the equations. And I did it, and I want that you see the answer that I get in GeoGebra. So it will be, so I type the equation, minus 0.15 s squared plus 4.5 x plus 5.5 equal x plus 4. I press enter, GeoGebra called E. I can also use the name for, by myself, but GeoGebra type this E. I then I use the command solve, solve the equation E. And GeoGebra give me two solutions. One is negative and the other is positive. Use the positive one. Yes. If you want to see the because GeoGebra give you, give you the exact answer, you want to see this in decimal, just press here, this symbol here, that GeoGebra can give you the answer in decimal. If you do that, these are the two answers. Minus 0 0.42, this was the negative, I don't going to use this, and this is the positive, 23.754. That was the first, the same one that we obtained before. So that answers the first question. This is the number of items to produce to get a maximum profit. And now what is this maximum profit? So obviously, it will be all the profit that you obtain from producing the first, the second, the third, the fourth, all the units. It will be the total profit. So it will be the area between the marginal cost and the marginal revenue. So let's do it. So for question B, so I know that the maximum profit will be the area between the two functions. So I know how to compute the area between two functions. Yes? And this is the, the formula, the integral from A to B of the difference of the two functions. And if you want to do it by hand, you can do it. Uh, just type the first function, the biggest function, that is the marginal revenue, that is above the marginal cost. From zero to the point of interception. So in our case, the total profit will be from 0 to 23.754. This is always the profit. It's the area between the two functions, revenue and cost. The revenue is at the top, the cost is at the bottom. To summarize the situation, to get the maximum profit, what we need to do is to first find the point of intersection between the marginal cost and the marginal revenue that is here, the 23.754 in this example. And then compute the integral from zero to that point of the difference between the marginal revenue and the marginal cost. You can use your algebra. So that's what I do. I type the two functions, R prime and C prime. Give a name always to a function so you can save time later. Then type integral between and then the function that is at the top, the function that is at the bottom, and then from zero, the first number, comma, and then 23.754. So from zero to the interception here, when x is 23.754, that was the number that we get before, and press enter. GeoGebra compute the integral. The, the difference of the integral, the area between the two functions. And it's 352.91. And they give you the graph. So they actually share the graph. The area between the two points 
and the two farm joints. Okay, the total profit is 352.91. You can see here. So the total profit equal 352.91. The marginal cost and the marginal revenue are in thousand per thousand item. So in this case, the profit cost and the revenue, all of them will be in thousand of dollars. So it means that the profit will be 352,910. So multiply by a thousand this. So that will be the total profit. Okay, with this I finished my explanation of this problem. I hope you have found it useful. Thank you.